Daniel Perry was found guilty of murder in the July 2020 death of Black Lives Matter protester Garrett Foster after nearly 16 hours of jury deliberation. My experience, Travis County juries take their oath quite seriously. I've had a lot of people ask me, Rick, did the Daniel Perry jury get it right? I don't think in terms of a right verdict or a wrong verdict. I think you have to respect the process and you have to respect the verdict of the jury. The state claimed Perry intentionally drove into the crowd of protesters that night and killed Foster. The defense team claimed Perry shot Foster in self-defense. Former Assistant District Attorney Rick Kofer says the most compelling evidence? Daniel Perry's social media posts. They indicated that he had some type of desire to engage in some type of violence with protesters. Kofer says this case is a great example that anything can happen in a jury trial. Frequently what seems to be most important to the lawyers ends up not being what a case turns on. Governor Greg Abbott doesn't agree with the decision and says he's requested the Board of Pardons and Paroles to determine if Perry should be granted a pardon. In a statement, he says, quote, Texas has one of the strongest stand your ground laws of self-defense that cannot be nullified by a jury or a progressive district attorney. In response, Travis County District Attorney Jose Garza says, quote, a jury gets to decide whether a defendant is guilty or innocent, not the governor. As this process continues, the Travis County District Attorney's Office will continue to fight to uphold the rule of law and to hold accountable people who commit acts of gun violence in our community. There is an animosity between the left and the right, and that is certainly playing itself out in a very strong way in the context of uh, judicial decision making and jurisprudence in our state as well as in our nation on these matters. Perry has 30 days from the date of the judgment being signed to file for a notice of appeal. Now, if the Board of Pardons and Paroles issues a pardon, the attorneys for Perry can file a motion to dismiss the appeal and the pardon would stand. Tomorrow morning, the judge will set a date for the sentencing hearing.